So I've been um, kind of investigating and reporting on police departments for, I don't know, 10 or 12 years now. In terms of kind of the sheer volume of problems, Little Rock Police Department has to be among the worst, I think, that I've ever looked into. Eventually, uh, Hastings was fired and then he was charged with uh, manslaughter. He was tried twice. Both trials resulted in a hung jury. The prosecutor eventually uh, decided to drop the charges. Moore's family sued and discovered the lawsuit revealed a lot of what we talk about in the story, which was just this, these really extensive um, disciplinary records from a lot of these police officers, including uh, pretty much every officer that trained Officer Hastings. And Hastings himself had a really long history of misconduct. The family won uh, the lawsuit against Hastings himself, but the federal judge threw out uh, the lawsuit against the city and against the police department. You know, I interviewed Bobby Moore's uh, mother, Sylvia Perkins, and she said, you know, it's not really about the money so much. They want to show that what happened to, to, to Bobby Moore uh, was the product of a culture and kind of a practice in Little Rock in the police department that would inevitably produce civil rights violations. And the idea here is that you're, you're trying to use this lawsuit to expose kind of widespread police misconduct at this department, what they call pattern and practice of uh, misconduct that would foreseeably lead to these kinds of civil rights violations. One of the first policies that we see from the Trump administration was a promise from uh, Jeff Sessions to really roll back the authority of the Office of uh, the Civil Rights Division to conduct uh, investigations into police departments. Uh, the report the DOJ did from Ferguson, from Chicago, from Baltimore, from Cleveland, they were incredibly damning. For people who lived in that city, for people who worked in the civil rights communities in those cities, they weren't surprising. But what they did do was they put sort of the federal government's um, kind of imprimatur on, you know, uh, what people had been saying and complaining about for a really long time. If the Justice Department is going to do those kinds of investigations anymore, your best hope is, is at this point, um, if this policy continues, is a, uh, to win a Monell claim, uh, to have a federal court officially recognize uh, that there are these widespread problems within the police department. If you get that kind of a judgment against the city and against the department, then uh, you inspire uh, city officials to, uh, or at least give them kind of political cover to start advocating for change uh, and reform within the department. If Bobby Moore's family loses on this claim, it makes it much more difficult for anybody else coming up to win a similar claim if there are similar incidents in the future. I asked other um, police experts, and they say, you know, that this is kind of as convincing M1L &L claim as, as you're going to find. So if they lose on this, it seems unlikely that uh, anybody else is going to win. You know, if you're a resident of Little Rock, means that uh, this is kind of might be kind of the last hope to hold the police department accountable. You know, unless. Uh, you can somehow build momentum at the local level uh, for change to kind of come from the bottom up rather than from the top down. Um, but that, you know, that's, that's a hard thing to do.